Professor Whitehouse, welcome yeah. to the University it's of Huddersfield. It's a real pleasure. I'm glad to be here. You've been involved now with the Centre for Precision Technologies uh, yeah. for a number of years, ever since you were appointed as a visiting professor. Right. How do you think it's changed, come on, improved since that time? Well, it, was, it started off on very, very simply, you know, with two reasonably key people, Professor Zhang and uh, Professor Blunt. At those days, by the way, Professor Zhang was a doctor and she was just a research fellow. Uh, but um, she, they got about five people or four people uh, who had been moved up from Birmingham. And um, much to my surprise and pleasure, I found that they seemed to click and they liked the atmosphere. And the atmosphere in the university was, was very conducive to them getting on with it as opposed to putting, people putting down the law, you know? Mm -hmm. and, uh, it seemed to work very well and uh, what happened was that they started off by sort of um, going over what they already knew from the past, you know, the instruments they'd used and the techniques they'd used. Uh, Jane especially was a little bit constrained to start with but then she began to look back on her past career, sometimes in China, and she was in China an optical expert. And she started to develop some uh, software and some hardware, and it was absolutely brilliant, you know? And I used to be an optical man, so I know what I'm talking about. And uh, Liam was more of um, a functional man, more practical man, down to earth. And uh, the two seemed to gel. Uh, and I think with uh, Jane's uh, Chinese uh, association, she was able to attract some very high level candidates for PhD and this has blossomed. In fact, it's gone mad and uh, I find that when I come up here I get hijacked. Every single time, I got hijacked one minute ago by a Chinese student about a problem he got and that's brilliant. You don't usually get that from Chinese students in England because I'm a professor at Warwick University and there the Chinese people are very much more reserved. You come here and they're open-handed, it's a pleasure. And they're learning fast. I find that the level of uh, inventiveness and uh, enthusiasm that they've got here is, is, is unique, actually. In, in my opinion, it's unique, it's unique, and I love it. Um, you, you, you tend to get everywhere else the Chinese living together and not communicating really with any of this stuff. Here, it's completely different. And I think that's, that's made the difference in the sense that now I think they've got, I don't know, it's probably 30 or 40 people. So in a number of years, few years, seven or eight years, it's gone mad in terms of recruiting people. And more to the point, they're good people and they're doing good projects. Uh, projects which is unusual because um, very often you don't get the mix of, uh, of uh, theoretical work and practical work. Here they've got it, you know. So you've got very much, if you like, uh, Liam who's a, a leader in, in the good practical common sense and Jane's a little bit airy-fairy but very clever and that's what counts. And they're both role models, you know. I don't say they get on all together every time but I mean I don't get on with everybody all the time, not always. But there again, it's a, it's a good mix and it seems to be developing as we go. Uh, and I can't see it in any way uh, reducing in the future. It seems to me to be developing very fast. Um, the, they, they, they tend to be willing and able to talk within each other. And that's quite unique, you know, for Chinese people. Absolutely unique. And they've drawn in the English people as well, which again is quite unusual. Mm -hmm. um, I think another thing that's emerging is that they're taking on different sorts of projects now that they used to. Originally it was sort of very traditional engineering, but now they're going into the wider field, you know, some, some concern with a bit of biology, environmental work, as well as really advanced metrology, which is obviously the source of their inspiration around here. And uh, 
the fact that it is metrology means that they've got a subject which enables them to move into other subjects as opposed to just learning facts, they're learning techniques and that's key to it all. And uh, I'm very pleased to be associated with it actually, very pleased. Hope to continue. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.